Ma'am. Are you okay? Yes, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm waiting for my husband. Oh, there he is now. We'll be going now. I'll see you later, Dina. How do you know my name? Hello? Oh, hey, Dina. Yeah? Are you done with work? Oh, great. Can you come over and uh, help me to pick the dress for tomorrow evening? Today? Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll be right there. Sure. Okay. Awesome. Dress. Sure. Would you like to drink? No, thanks. Dina, come on. Why don't you drink sometime? Why don't you why don't you relax a little? Why do you have to be so uptight all the time? You think you're better than me, Dina? You're not better than me. I mean, just look at yourself. The way you dress, the way you wear your hair. You, you're just embarrassing me, Dina. Yeah, you're embarrassing me. You know what, Dana? You're right. I'm nothing like you, Dana. Because you fuck John and I sleep with Josh, right? Because I have a job, and you don't. I take care of my children, and you don't. I actually went to college, and I have an education there, and you don't. You are nothing like me, Dana. Oh, get off your high horse, sister. I mean, I mean, just look at yourself. You don't even exercise. Maybe your husband drinks so much because he's too depressed to even look at you. Yes, Dana, I don't exercise because by the time I get to kiss my kids goodnight, I am too damn tired. And what do you do all day, Dana? You don't exercise either. Oh, you do? Just go to beauty salons and massage salons. Yet you judging me? Yeah. I could divorce my husband and then I'll be divorced with three children trying to make my ends meet just like I do now. So then I'll be too tired to look for somebody else that could be also alcoholic or cheater or pervert. So I just simply carry my cross. Be proud of just just take all that off you and what's underneath of it. Just an ugly soul. You are an ugly soul, Dana. I hate you. What? Are you okay, Dina? Why do you keep following me? You know what? Why don't you see me tomorrow afterward? Who are you? Owen, bring your sister. All I want to know 
if is my husband is cheating on me or not. And then what are you going to do once you know? I will divorce the bastard and take a half of his money. What if the other one is with you just for your money? What if the other one's gonna cheat on you too? What are you gonna do then? Money surely does not bring happiness. So what are you suggesting? Dina, what would you like to know? Oh, nothing for myself. What I really want to know is why some people live luxurious lives like she does and and they're still miserable. And some just thank God for every little bit they have and they're happy with just that. Why is it? Every one of us has been given a life that we are strong enough to handle. God would not give us anything that we are not able to handle. Even more, we all choose our lives before birth. Think of it this way, a student chooses their own test. And then, they are graded. And you know what? Everybody chooses their own life. Even people who live in horrendous conditions, even people in jail, not only do they live the life they were given, they were given that life because they are strong enough to handle it. Unlike you, Dana. You are not strong enough for hard work. You are not strong enough to handle a tough life. What seems really hard for you is very easy for others. Yes, Dana, you're not strong enough. You're not good enough for anything, Dana. All you do is just sit around and bitch all day. You, you're useless, Dana. You're just useless Robert doll, Dana. I don't blame your husband for cheating on you. And Dina, yes, you are very strong. You can handle it all. The drinking husband, the children, the job. You have so much on your shoulders, other people couldn't even handle it. You are even so tough that your heart has hardened. You don't even love your own twin sister anymore. Your heart has grown so tired of her constant complaining that you have hardened and you no longer love her. You are also not happy. That's it, I'm not paying for this BS. You're crazy. And now, I will cast a spell on them to switch their lives with each other. Will you do that? Yeah. Once they walk in each other's shoes, they will be right back here and I'll get my money's worth. Some people just don't learn any other way. <laughs>